y'all and welcome to the crazy sock lady youtube channel my name is Kay, and this is my channel where i share all about my making adventures today i have some knitting and crocheting to share with you i have three finished objects yes three i finished three pairs of socks since the last episode and of course i have some works in progress and i have my what's going to be my next cast on here to share that with you as well well. So I hope that you guys are doing well since the last time that we chatted. I hope that you've got your cup of coffee, something to drink, something to work on, and you're ready to catch up. So you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the Crazy Sock Lady, and I will have links right down below this video for everywhere that you can find me as well as links to shops that I talk about, project pages for everything that I'm going to show you. All of that is right down below if you just look down below the video um, I think it's right under the title of the video maybe and it says more and you just click on that and it'll pull everything down for you <laughs> um, this is episode 217 it is Thursday February 15th 7 53 a.m. it is so early so the lighting may be a little crazy um, I am right in front of a window but the Sun the sun is nowhere to be seen yet. <laughs> uh, Eric is working from home. He started working from home yesterday and he'll be working from home the rest of the week because of some construction type work that's going on in the building that he works in. So he's home and he needs the office in a little bit. So I'm like, okay, I got to get this done. Then you can have the quietest room in the house, which is this room, which is nice <laughs> to do your meetings and things. So here we are, bright and early. This is still my first cup of coffee. Yes, it is. Cheers. Take a drink, shall we? All right. Let's just start with the finished objects because, like I said, I have three of them. One is not here to show you. I did already gift these, so I finished Eric's socks. I was so excited. This was out of... I'll put a picture of them up here, but this was mustache yarn in the doctor colorway and I made these for Eric for our 18th anniversary we've married 18 years so I gifted those to him on Saturday this past Saturday which was our anniversary and he loved them and it is um I think I talked about it last week and said that I did put a picture like a screenshot of each stripe and which doctor it is because I had some questions about that and so that is up on Ravelry um, under the photos for that project, which will be linked below. And yeah, it was just a super cool colorway. Super fun. Um, I gave him a little printout of it and he probably won't keep that, but that's okay. <laughs> he liked the socks. That is all that matters. So for those, I just did my vanilla socks on Magic Loop. The black that I used for the heel is Knit Picks Stroll Fingering in Black. And I just do a size medium for his. Those I started on February 1st and I finished on February 9th. So I got those done pretty quickly. I was on a bit of a time crunch to get them done by our anniversary, but I was very happy that I made it. The next pair of socks that I finished are another gift. Um, the recipient does watch, but they're going to be getting them. I'm going to mail these out next week, so they'll get them quickly, but I'm not going to say who they're for. <laughs> Um, so this yarn was some deep stash from Maker's Haven. Put that down. There we go. <laughs> See the 100 plus on there? That's because I was using this in my temperature blanket and I didn't use it once. It never got that hot, which is perfectly fine with me. <laughs> it's, I loved you then. I love you now. It is on a Stellina base. So it is 75 superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 5% Stellina. Um, and I apologize, but she no longer dyes yarn. So this is, I mean, it's a super old colorway. So even if she was, it may not be something she would do anymore. But anyways, these I did vanilla socks on Magic Loop as well. All of the socks I'm going to show today are being knit Magic Loop on a 32-inch Chow Gu US1 2.25 millimeter. It's all the same for every sock. That I'm going to show is a finished object and a work in progress. So there's these. I did a size medium for these as well. And I think they're so pretty. I don't know. It was Stellina a lot, but it is so beautiful. I don't know that the lighting's really going to pick it up. I don't think it is at all, <laughs> but it is so, so pretty. For Eric socks and those, I did 20 rounds of Knit 2 Pearl 2 for the cuff. 
instead of the knit one purl one that is in that pattern. I just find I like a knit one purl one for how it looks, but I don't like it for the stretchiness. I think a knit two purl two is stretchier. Here's another sneak peek at another pair of socks that I finished. So I finished a pair of socks for my niece, Henley. These I started, oh, I didn't even say for those. I'm trying to remember to do this. For these, I started on January 25th and I finished on February 12th for those ones. Henley socks went very quick. She is almost five. These I started on February 12th and I finished on February 14th. Whipped right through these so fast. Um, for Henley socks, I just do a size small from my vanilla socks pattern. Um, I have found I did that size for my boys when they were that age. I did it for Lily when she was that age. I've done it for other kids that are that age. It, it works just fine. I think a lot of people think they need a, a lot smaller of a stitch count. Um, and you might, every kid is different. Every foot is different. So you may, but for every four or five, six year old that I've knit for, sometimes even up until like seven, um, 56 stitches, small size in my pattern works great. So here's these. They do not match. I'm not bothered. Henley will not be bothered. <laughs> I had one cake of this left. Where's the tag? I didn't pull those out of the bag because I just finished these last night. So I haven't cleaned out my project bag yet. So this is Nipix Felici Captain Nemo. It is, I have no clue what year it's from, but these are just 50 grams. So I wanted to make sure I didn't run out of yarn and that I had enough to add into my blankets. And I do. I didn't weigh this to see how much is left, but I'll have enough for my blankets. So I use the Captain Nemo for, that's the self-striping. This yellow is Knit Picks Stroll Fingering and Dandelion. And for hers, I just did 12 rounds of ribbing for the cuff, Knit Two Pearl Two again. And then I use the yellow for the heel. And they're super, super cute. I think she's going to love them. I am debating, I don't know if I'm gonna mail these out to her or wait because the next pair of socks I'm going to cast on, I'm going to do um, a pair for her and a pair for Lily. And then I actually have another skein over there that is going to be a pair for her and a pair for Lily. So I'm going on the knitting the niece's socks train here. <laughs> knitting the niece's socks. I don't know if that made any sense. <laughs> Let's pause for a drink of coffee. <laughs> I think y'all know what I meant though. I'm gonna be knitting my nieces a lot of socks. <laughs> um, so I'm debating if I should go ahead and mail these out or if I should wait until I have all three of these pairs done that I have yarn set aside for and then mail all three out to her at once. I can't decide. I'll think about it <laughs> and see what I should do. But yeah, I have, I'll show you guys the yarn here that I have caked up here um in just a moment and then I have a skein of pretty twisted yarns that I've had caked up for quite a while I don't remember I was gonna knit socks with it but I don't remember when or for who but it's been caked up and waiting for me to knit it so those I'm going to do for the girls too and then I have yarn caked up for a pair of socks for Wyatt over there so I have lots of knitting that I would like to get done <laughs> um I think we're into works in progress. Let me go ahead and I'll just show you the yarn that's sitting here because I feel like I might forget it if I don't. So this is the Yarnable Colorway. I showed it last week. For some reason you haven't received yours yet and you don't want to see it, just look away for a bit. But it is the Yarnable Colorway. I caked it up. It's getting blown out because the lighting's terrible this morning. <laughs> but I have that and I was trying to think what should I pair this with because I wanted to do, I'm not sure if I'll do cuff heels and toes on both the pairs for her and Lily or what, but I want to make sure I can get a pair of socks for each of them out of this and still have enough to put it in my blankets. That's, that's priority as well. <laughs> so I was looking around, I'm like, I have to have some kind of gray here. And shockingly, I do not think I have any nitpicks, stroll fingering in Duff Heather in fingering. Yeah, in fingering, I already said that. I have it in the DK weight. I don't think I have any in fingering weight left. Maybe in my scraps somewhere, but I didn't dig through all of those to see. Um, I have a FedEx package on the way. It's nothing exciting. It is cat food. <laughs> 
Anyways, I found this in my stash. This is a Holly Press, Holly Press Fibers. Yes, Holly Press Fibers. And Rabbits with Swords. It's just a nice gray. And I think it'll pair very nicely with that. So I, I just need to decide if I'm gonna do, I need to cake this up and then decide if I'm gonna do cuffs, heels, and toes on both pairs. What do you guys think? Should I just do cuffs and heels or all three? Let me know what you think. Okay, so works in progress. I have three to show you. I did start my freckled whimsy socks. This is this month's Christmassy Yarn Club colorway. I did show it last week. Again, if you don't want to see it, look away, but I know that she has posted the photo already on her Instagram. So I feel like it's okay to be showing it. So I have it in my Christmas bag from Three by the Sea Designs. And I've got it started. So this is, I'm doing these every month as long as I get the club and I'm doing my heel toe do -si do pattern. I was hoping to have a little bit more done on this, but I was determined to get Henley's socks done. So I only have like one and a half stripes, but look how pretty it's looking already. I did the mini that came with it for the cuff, knit two pearl two rib. And then like I said, I'm just doing my heel toe do -si do It looks so good in self striping. So I think that's just gonna be what I do for this every month that I get it. Um, again, 32 inch chow goo, US one, 2.25 millimeter. These are for me. I do a size medium for my socks. All right. Oh gosh. <laughs> this project bag is heavy. I have a lot of stuff in here. So this is Wyatt's sweater. It's in a bag that a viewer sent me. I do have a label on there. It is JM Yarn and Crafts. And you guys, I finished the first sleeve. Get it all out here. All right, the yarn I am using is Swish Worsted in Pinecone Heather Knit Picks. And here's the first one. It is very long because it comes up, like it has shaping and all the things. Um, and it's curling on the sides. It, it won't do that, obviously. I'm gonna seam it together. It's knit in pieces, but there is the whole sleeve. Here's where I was last episode in with my progress keeper from twin mountain handcrafts this is just gonna live on here forever <laughs> not forever but for the length of time i work on this i'm gonna keep using this progress keeper because i have to have a cup of coffee before i work on this um i enjoy doing cables and i've thoroughly enjoyed this pattern but i do have to think i have to think to use use the brain so i need some caffeine but yeah i finished this off and I started the second sleeve. I just have that on there marking that that's the front. Um, and I'm gonna move my Twin Mountain Hand Crafts Progress Keeper over there so that I don't forget and then we will know where I was next episode. This is ready now for me to start the charts, the cable charts. So I'm all set up and ready to do that today. I'm still doing at the very least one chart repeat a day just to get some work in on it, keep it in rotation and not completely burn myself out on it. Because even if I attempted that, it would not be done probably before the cold weather is gone here. So I'm just gonna take my time with it. Um, I am using Chowgu interchangeable needles for this, and I'm using the needle sizes recommended in the pattern. My last thing that I've been working on has gotten a ton of work. I have not been able to put this thing down. This is my crochet granny stripe blanket. It's in a bag from Fat Squirrel. 
And I have started, I don't remember what magic novel I was on last time. Let's see, I think I might have, did, did I put that in my book? I have a little notebook, I'm keeping track <laughs> of the grams that are in these magic knot balls. So I started that one. Okay, yeah, I was working on them. So the one I was working on last time I finished and I'm now working on another one where I'm at on it, which means I only have two more to go after this. So I am making progress. All right, let's see, Let me show ya what I've gotten done. Which side are my markers on? So I put a marker on February 1st. I'm tangled here. I need to put a progress keeper on the stitch because I'm currently, while well, I'm trying to get untangled, unraveling stitches. Thankfully, crochet is, that's not a big deal. <laughs> All right. So here's the full blanket. Obviously, I'm not getting all of the sides in the screen, but here is where I was February 1st, that marker there. And then this marker here is where I was last episode. So I have done all of that since the last episode. And it is pretty wide. The colors up here at the top, I was changing them more often. You can kind of tell, it's not a huge difference and I am not bothered at all, like the scrappier, the better. I think I said that last time too, scrappier the better. But um, I was definitely changing colors more often in that ball and in this ball too. I don't remember where these are even from. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no clue. They're leftovers from something. But I have a lot more color changes in these. This green I have quite a bit of in here, it looks like. But I just changed colors a lot more often than that very first ball I was working from. I am using, I've had a lot of people ask about the magic knot, so I do have a tutorial for how to do the magic knot. Um, and I have had a lot of people ask about them coming apart and issues with that. I have, I think in the whole, I don't know how many years I've been doing magic knots, but I think I've had like two come apart that whole time. I show in the video and I highly suggest like, after you tie the knot, tighten it a lot after you snip your ends, because I show all that in the tutorial, but after you snip those ends close down to the knot, again, give it a good tug. That's gonna let you know if that knot's not secure enough for whatever the reason may be. I've had some when I've done that last tug, they do come apart and I'm like, oh, I must have just messed something up or didn't tighten it up enough or something happened. So I know at that point, okay, let's retie this and try again. And usually the, the second time I do it, it's like, okay, it's secure now. You can, I've talked about doing this before. I don't always do this. Sometimes I get in the routine of doing it and I do it on every knot, but you can use liquid stitch on the knots if you want that extra bit of security. All you have to do, just take the cap off, put a tiny little bit on it, and then I just take my thumb and my pointer and just go like that on the knot and then just crochet it in. I have never done that while I'm making a magic knot because the knots can still be a little bit um, they don't, they dry quickly, but I would be worried as I was winding, the yarn would stick to the knot where I had attached the, um, or put the liquid stitch, if that makes sense. So I've never done it while I've been creating the ball itself, but as I'm crocheting it or knitting it into something, I have done this. I keep it in this bag just in case I'm like, yeah, I'm in the mood to add this to that. Like I said, I don't always do it. But if I'm in like a mood where I'm like, I want to make sure this is super secure, <laughs> I grab this and I do it. I do have this linked on my Amazon storefront, but you can also pick it up. I don't know if like a Walmart or somewhere like that would have it. Um, I know Joann's places like that usually have liquid stitch. So it's linked on Amazon or you can usually find it at any of those types of craft stores. This one I am not following a pattern for. That's another question I've had a lot. Um... 
I'm not following a pattern, but I do have a tutorial linked on the Ravelry project page. It's the one that I looked at as for a refresher on how to do all of the things with a granny stripe. I am using a 2.5 millimeter Tulip Etimo crochet hook. I chained 300 to start. Oh, that's on the project page too, but I'm pretty sure that's what I chained. Oh, and I've had people ask, and I, I kind of touched on this by saying I changed colors more often in this, but I've had people ask what amount of yarn, like how many grams do you add in? I don't have a set amount. Like you could do the tiniest little bit as long as you can tie two knots, like one on one end to tie it in and then to attach the next yarn. Use it if you want. Like there's no set amount that you have to use. Um, so yeah, I don't have a, I don't weigh the yarn. I just <laughs> attach it in if I'm going to attach it. I think that's it for that. I don't think there's anything else. Making a lot of progress, really enjoying it. I'll go ahead and move my marker up so I don't forget. I'm really loving pulling these scrappy blankets out and finally getting caught up on them. Um, on Sunday, I pulled out, why am I struggling with this? <laughs> there we go could not get it through the stitch. On Sunday, I pulled out my Cozy Memories. Wow. <laughs> cozy Memories. And added in the yarn from Eric Socks, the Dr. Colorway. And I have the yarn from these socks ready to be added in this Sunday. And then I'll also have the yarn from Henley Socks. Since I finished those, I'll wind off all of that. So every Sunday I'm pulling that out and adding in any yarns from the week that I finished. Will I stay in this good routine? That remains to be seen, but right now I'm enjoying it. So we're, we're sticking with it. And once I get all these magic knot balls added in, I think my plan is going to be as I work on my cozy memories throughout the month and the leftovers from that go into a magic knot ball. Then at the beginning of the next month, I'll add in that magic knot ball to my crochet granny stripe. And I think the next scrappy blanket that I pull out to get caught up on is going to be my fingering weight jelly roll. And that one's going to be a feat. That one's going to take quite a while. Just wait. Just wait till I pull that out and I show you all the yarn. Because it was something I started, oh my gosh, I don't know how many years ago that has been now. It's been two, three years? Years ago. And... I started on a weekend that I was doing a knitting weekend with friends and we all had art like a ton of scraps and we were swapping scraps. So I had so many that scraps that came from that weekend that I've still not even worked through. And then I've gotten back into the routine of when I finish a pair of socks, I wind off yarn for my cozy memories. So then I also started doing that for the fingering weight jelly roll. And I'm like, oh gosh, you have so much yarn <laughs> in that bag. But I'll pull that out and show all that when I get caught up on this granny stripe. But yeah, there is so much yarn waiting to be added into that. I'm almost like, could I finish this whole blanket with what is in here? It is a possibility. All right, so um, that's it for the knitting. That's all I got. <laughs> reading and watching. I am still reading through Freedom McFadden's books. I'm going to put that picture up here again so you can see kind of pretty sure I showed this last time. Almost positive. Um, but I'm crossing off the ones that I've read. And I, since last week, I finished The Teacher, which is her newest. So good. There were so many twists that my brain was just like, what is happening? So loved that one. Um, I finished The Gift, which was like a little short story type thing. So it was super fast read. And I finished The Inmate. And I am currently reading Never Lie. I think I'm about halfway done with that one. So I've been reading a lot more recently, more than just my normal treadmill and before bed. I've been reading throughout the day some as this shows that I finished that many books. Um, but yeah, they're still loving her books. We are still watching Cowboy Way, Alabama. We just finished the second season last night. That's the reality TV show about Cowboys in Alabama. <laughs> it's a somewhat of an older show. It's not on anymore, I don't think, um, but it is on Peacock. 
And that's good. That's kind of all I got. There's not been a ton of life stuff. We did have a really good anniversary. Thank you guys so much for all of the happy anniversary wishes that you sent our way. We went to Cooper's Hawk for dinner and had a good weekend. Wyatt got his braces off. So yes, braces are done, but now we're in retainer land. And I feel like this might be worse than braces because braces are just in there and <laughs> you just have to make sure you're taking care of them, you know, but retainers, I'm like, oh my gosh, please don't lose these. Please don't lose these. That's my, my fear right now with these retainers. That's about all the excitement this week is that braces are off, which is, that's a huge excitement. It's great excitement. His teeth look great. We have retainers now. Eric's working from home this week. The boys are off school Friday and Monday, so they have a four-day weekend. Eric's off Monday. My mother-in-law's coming into town for a visit, so we should have a great weekend. But I'm going to get off here and get this edited and up for y'all so that Eric can come down here and use the yarn, yarn pantry, whatever you want to call this room, for his meetings. So I will see you all again next week. Until then, happy making. Bye.